Hey, yo, YouTube. We're back again with part three of the EVGA XR1 Pro and how I have my setup. I've had a few questions in previous videos. And I'll just show you really quick again how I have it running down. Here's the EVGA XR1 Pro. Inputs. Headphones. Cable. The three and a half millimeter cable that comes with the EVGA has the that third line to carry the microphone. And then we're also using the Elgato Chat Link Pro cable. The regular Elgato Chat Link cable will work as well. I like the Pro because it comes with an isolator at the end, so it'll get rid of any type of humming and hissing that you have. All right. So first. We're going to take this cable, the three and a half millimeter jack that came with it. I'm going to plug it into a little icon that has the controller next to it. So that's your line in. We're going to take one end into that. We're going to take the other end into the controller. This will work with PS4, PS5, Xbox, Xbox One S, X, you know the drill switch anything that's going to have a headphone jack it'll carry the audio and we're going to take the the short end of the elgato so see this piece and then it splits off so we're going to take this we're going to plug it into where you see the headphone jack we're going to plug that in there just like that then you can take your handy dandy headphones Take the other end, plug it into this piece. Oops, plug it into that piece. Okay. Once you have that all plugged up, one tool you're going to need that I use, it's called voice meter. I'm using the voice meter banana flavor. There's different kinds. Voice meter banana seems to be the one with the, the best options for what I do. And as you see here, let me, let me see if I can make this bigger. And it doesn't look like it. But for your hardware one input, that's where you choose your microphone. Use the WDM, Windows Device Manager. I'm unsure of the KS and the MME. It's kind of kind of iffy here and there. So choose the WDM and choose your microphone. I'm using a Yeti. That's where we got it. You could set your your volume inputs uh, limiter. So, you know, when you're raging ah, and you get loud, it's not going to go past that. So you're not going to blow the ears of your 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 stream chat or the, the videos that you're recording. It comes with a compression and a gain tool. So, or a noise gate. Gain, same thing. So... I'm in a wide open space, so the more gain I need to help get rid of that background static. And I have Discord on the cable output. You can have your desktop audio. It doesn't matter. It, you can have it there for your other, other input. But you're also going to need to download the cable output, the VB audio virtual cable, from the same place as voice meter. Links will be in the description. And if you notice, I have B1 selected here and B2 selected there. That's so uh, it keeps track separate. And A1, A1 is selected. So that's monitor. So we have A1, WDM selected as the speaker's real tech audio. So that's my headphone jack on my computer. And that's the other end of the cable, the Chatlink Pro or the regular Chatlink cable. That's that other end. Plug that in. I'm able to monitor my voice, make sure there's no static scratchiness, anything like that. And as well as when you're in Discord or your desktop music, you can set it to the cable output. So you'll be able to hear everything in your headphones. 
because we're capturing it through the, the chat link cable through the XR1 Pro, since it's a splitter going into the headphone jack, we'll hear everything your stream and video does not. Because the only thing your stream and video is going to hear game-wise is coming from your controller. So the, obviously you need to set up a different audio input for your Discord comms and your desktop music and make sure it's set to the proper output. So we open Discord. And if you come to your settings, which I'm blocking, so we'll move it so y'all can see. Come to your settings, user settings, voice and video. And so, yeah, I, I have things mislabeled in voice meter. So this is music. And then you see we have virtual inputs. That's also the A1 so we can monitor. So I have Discord going through there. So you would choose voice meter auxiliary input. So test, 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 test. We're hearing it in crazy stereo. It's pretty funny. And obviously your input for everything you do comms wise on your computer, set it to voice meter output. That's where we set the, the Yeti microphone. And then for music, so I'll just launch Amazon Music. I have the app installed on my desktop. But if you're doing Pandora through the web, anything like that, let's choose lo-fi. So it's a station. So let's hit play. As you can see, you all can hear the music in the video. I can hear it in my headphones and it's not going through the EVGA. But you want to make sure in whatever application you're using to get your music from, you have it set to cable output, VB virtual cable. We're going to pause that, close you, and then also make sure your speakers, your output on your computer is set to the real tech speakers whatever your headphone jack is. That's how I have mine set up so I can hear everything going on. I don't need an expensive mixer, don't need any of that. I really hope this helps. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, ask questions. If you need me to cover anything ever again, let me know.